I wonder if I can still... Hold on, hold on. Oh, wow. Well, that kind of hurt, but that's still pretty good. Lunch is served. Welcome here, my muchachos. Oh, this looks so good. We got like butternut squash and pickled beets and like broccoli. There's rice. <laughs> it's so good. Mm, that's so good. Today is the perfect day to do what today, what we have on to. Oh my goodness, like, edit all this out, Kieran. This is really bad. Today is the perfect day to do what we have to do today, and that is thrifting for the fall winter months. I hardcore enjoy thrifting and postpartum, I felt like this had to happen. In my pregnancy, I was like, I need to go thrifting because I need clothes. And now postpartum, I'm like, I have to go thrifting because I need clothes. Now, before we hop into the store, let me tell you in like mild picture form, an idea of what we need to find, what we need to discover today. Pants, jeans. If you watch my kind of declutter video like it was going through my closet postpartum and I was just going through things I don't really have jeans that fit me and I only have two pairs of pants granted I like keeping a more minimal wardrobe but that's pretty minimal also some sort of like a winter coat my one of six years I decided to pass on because it didn't fit me the way that it fit me six years ago I need a replacement coat t-shirts shirts just the basic necessities that's what we are here for today so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up but thank you for joining me I am just thrilled that you are here and let's let's make some magic let's make some thrift store magic <laughs> thrift store magic hmm that could be future merch I saw fashionable people go into the thrift store and you know, as soon as you see fashionable young people walk into the thrift store, you're like, it's go time. At this point, it's a competition. I want what they want and they want what I want. Like we gotta fight for stuff. Like I've literally eyeballed people waiting for them to like put things down, be like, don't take, don't, no, you don't want that, you don't want, and then like run, grab. I didn't bring the stroller, I was supposed to. That's okay, I'm gonna wear Molly and I, I'm ready for a competition. I'm not just ready for a competition, like. I'm here for competition. We're gonna find some sick stuff. Hey, Malita, you and me against the world. I was gonna put on my jacket, but I'm definitely gonna start like competition sweating. That's not gonna work. Okay, we're good. My first stop was Plato's Closet. It's a little bit more of a trendier and more expensive thrift store. And because of that, they play their music loud and I couldn't talk and vlog to you guys in this store. But I was able to find a couple pretty solid pieces. But to be honest, it was a bit of a downer experience. Some of the employees, you could just tell we're having an off day. It was pretty busy in there. And I had to stand for half an hour in a lineup and breastfeed Molly at the same time. It was, it was intense. <laughs> I don't know why, emotionally that took a lot out of me and we didn't find too much stuff. I know, I'm probably gonna have to nurse her again. Okay. Whew. Next was a stop at my local MCC thrift store, which is a huge go-to for me. I've been able to find some pretty amazing gems in here and today was no different. I'm finding some really good pieces. I just don't know how well they're gonna work, but we're not doing bad. We're actually doing quite well. I feel like I may have just hit like a bit of a, maybe a dry spot. Like sometimes you need to know, these are cute, these are kids, okay. Sometimes you need to know when to stop, like when to go home. And I don't know, don't know if I've hit that yet. And every time I see light colored jeans, I get mildly excited. And then I realize they're way too small. They're probably like full on skinny jeans, which, whoa, that's right. Just doesn't work for me. I like something looser. I've been going for a lot of like pants. For example, these ones. And these ones, we also found a cute top. And Molly is doing amazing. 
So after a little bit more digging, I was able to find some pretty cool items, meet a woman who was pretty excited about this dress that she found and was eager to show you guys, and then I headed home. Welcome back. Yesterday, I, I had some moments, full on moments. Thrifting with a newborn is different than thrifting in any other way. <laughs> but the amount of stuff that we did get, I'm feeling very good about. The amount of stuff that will most likely work, I'm feeling okay about. We have shirts, we have pants, and that is literally all that I got. I wasn't able to find any kind of like nice dresses. I was looking for something that would be really nice for church. Didn't really find any. Same with skirts. I tried to find pencil skirts, couldn't find pencil skirts. Couldn't find that really nice winter coat. So I'm gonna keep looking, see if I can thrift it. And if not, I will buy it from a store, like brand new. I just like to be able to thrift things first. See if you can find it at the thrift store. If not, then maybe look at buying it brand new. I'm going to try these on, show you all, and we'll see if they work. Okay, let's see if they work. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, so, so this is what I found out when I was thrifting. I am Mary Tyler Moore. That's what I found out. Actually, no, I'm Rhoda. Is it Rhoda or Rhonda? From the Mary Tyler Moore show, I grew up watching that show. I loved Mary Tyler Moore's outfits, uh, Phyllis's outfits, Ro Rhoda, I think it's Rhoda's outfits. I kind of look like her. I feel like she had a middle part. High-waisted stripes, that high neckline, like it's very like 70s preppy look. These jeans, well first, this top, very cute. It doesn't have a tag on it. I don't know where it's from. The quality, is okay. I bought it for the color and the cut. Tucked into, let's just fully tuck it into this pair of Levi's jeans. Cute. Like this, this feels very me to me. I used to not wear a lot of color cause I just didn't know what to do with color. And now I feel like I know my color palette, what I, pat it? I know my color palette. I know what I like. Look at how high-waisted these jeans are. They they come up to like my mid back. They're a size 26. I used to be a 24, but these fit me for right now. Before I threw them in the wash yesterday, I did crop the ankles. So they're kind of they're kind of like you can see, they're kind of fringy. This is my look. I am a preppy varsity 70s girl, especially with this middle part, especially with this middle part. I got another shirt like this, let me try it on. Oh no, it has a stain like right here. I wonder if I could somehow get it out because this shirt is cute. This is vintage. I would like kind of tuck it like this, you know, or you could tuck it in all the way. Maybe just the front, look, stain. Oh. I wonder if I could get that out or bleach it out, but look at how cute this shirt is. This is so cute. It's vintage. It's very soft. I love this sleeve cut on me, like the length of it. Very, very cute. I'm looking this way because I have a mirror here, but like, this is really going well, actually. I'm like, wow. Okay, let's try another pair of pants that will most likely not fit me. I can't even get these up past my bum. They're so cute. They're so cute. I don't know why I thought maybe I could Oh my gosh, how tiny did I think I, what the heck? Hold on, I, it is so weird. Like I can't go by sizing, I just go by, l these are freaking tiny. Why did I think these were gonna fit me? Look at the waist on the, I used to be this. Not right now, no. These are vintage tomboy jeans. Oh my God, like look at how cool. I loved the wash. They don't go up past my butt. I'm not even gonna keep these because I really don't think I'm gonna be this size again. <sighs> I really don't think so. These pants, they're actually like capris, but I'm shorter. So capris are kind of like just cropped to pants to me. I don't like the, the fit. They don't fit very nicely, like you see like through here. I don't like them on my butt, like they just, see all this? And then it just kind of gather, it's, <laughs> okay, let's try on another pair. I have high hopes for these, I don't wanna say that, but I do. Okay, I haven't styled this yet, so. <gasps> these pants are cute! I'm into plaid, I'm, in, I'm into kind of like that plaid pant. These fit me better than the previous ones. 
Firstly, this turtleneck here for this. Guys, this was two bucks or something. Look at cute. Actually, this shirt with these pants is a look. The creaminess matches the creaminess through the plaid. I like the length of these two. And like pants, guys, I realize pants are just comfy. They're comfier than jeans. They're kind of, they're they're a little more put together. Like if you're going for that kind of look, I could even like could even like tie this like this could be like a cute kind of winter look i like these pants like this is i'm finding at least i think i am i change all the time <laughs> but i am finding that i do really like kind of that 70s plaid preppy look i think for my height i think for my personality i think for my soul just makes the most sense like aren't you looking at me being like sarah you you finally make sense i feel like i finally make sense these are cute i'm gonna keep both of these like i know i can hear you mom dad you guys think i'm cute I can hear you in the back of my head these are cute i'll keep these these are good something some wait <laughs> make sure it's backwards <laughs> that's what's wrong so <laughs> we're back this kind of shirt i think is really pretty like let me tuck my bra straps i like how it's very almost like ethereal like ballerina like it takes me back to like my ballerina days because we would have more of a neckline that just really made all this like that's just what it was now as a breastfeeding mom like I need my bra straps to be here for maximum support so I mean it kind of kind no there's it's I'm yeah I don't know I bought this because I liked like this kind of like crinkly ruffliness through here I think it's pretty and feminine <sighs> this one's oh uh, this one's tempting but it doesn't work with my I may have to say no to this one and everyone's like just wear a strapless bra girl no can't not do not while breastfeeding it's cute though I do have another top which is another turtleneck I actually have a black turtleneck in my wardrobe but I'm not hugely obsessed with how it fits and hangs this one has just a little bit more of a looser feel you know let's talk about these pants these are so comfy like <laughs> what the heck they don't even feel like they're pants in a sense like they're just that comfortable they're very stretchy they're very soft but they are like a pant like they almost feel wooly but they're not because they're extremely stretchy and probably made of something very cheap i'm thinking like a fun colored flat or even just like my brown mules from vivaya yeah 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 yeah, I like this. These pants are so comfy. Like, whose idea was it to wear jeans all the time? These pants are ridiculously comfy. Such a slob. I, I threw you guys because you didn't work. <laughs> That's why I threw you guys. I also like wearing black turtlenecks with pants because no one calls me the rock. Girl, no, no. Eh, oh my goodness. Like, why do I think I'm so tiny still? I'm not. Okay, we're back at it. Like, the mock neck sleeve you know what i mean these pants they're they're vintage which is sick they just it's right here like i'm supposed i'm supposed to be a little bit smaller like i'm just just they're pretty intense through through the butt area like wow these pockets make my butt look huge like we're not even close man like you've got to have like that poo, poo figure which i used to have and now I do not. But honestly, like pants are cute. I'm not gonna keep them because again, I don't think I'm gonna get back to that like three inches off my waist. I don't think so. Shirt, very cute. I don't know the brand. There's no tag on it, but you can tell it's probably a fast fashion brand from the feel of it. But it's very comfortable. I like the look of it. And I like these more kind of crop tops because they're easier to pull up and nurse in. Yeah. Okay, top yes, bottoms no. I have more bottoms. Okay, I was thrilled to find these. These pants are by Banana Republic. I'm gonna talk about that white shirt in a second. They were like stinking cheap. They're more flowy, like there's more of a flow to them versus my other plaid pants. I felt like they were a little more fixed 
to my body. These have some like nice give to them, a nice elastic waist. They're so soft. Oh yeah, we're keeping these. Like it's just, it's comfy day clothes, man. Pants are comfier than jeans, but look more dressy than jeans if you find that right pair of pants. Like this, this top, these pants, Think about like, like just pretty gold jewelry and a nice shoe. Shoes make everything completely different in an outfit. But like, I'm here for this. This look with this look. And I bought this shirt and, and I know you guys are like, what is that? Ignore the bottom. I was just, just looking at the top. It's vintage linen. I kind of want to crop it, but if I crop it, I might run it and which means I would have to sew it like the fabric itself would run because of how it's made and spun. There's a flipping huge stain on the front. How do I miss these things? Okay, I'm not gonna cut it until I can figure out if I can take this stain out, which I probably can't because it's a vintage. It's probably like a 40 year old coffee stain. <sighs> The lighting at the thrift store, they're sneaky. It's tricky, I just don't see it. I don't like these, no. Like the way that, the way it gathers, like I, this is made for a smaller person, so it'll be looser and the pleating would look nice against their body. It's, they're too tight on me. And these are really weird. <laughs> I know, I know you're supposed to like tie them in a bow, but that's like, it's like a tracksuit, man. Yeah, just weird, weird gaping. You can see it's just made for a smaller person. That's all. So no to these, speaking of tracksuits. Well, not really, but I bought some sweatpants. <laughs> yes, I just, I'm, I just really like sweatpants. Just for like in the house and the color of these. I love the elastic. I love having an elastic at the bottom. Are you guys so impressed that I can just like lift my, <laughs> like, I wonder if I can still, hold on, hold on. Oh, wow. Well, that kind of hurt, but that's still pretty good. These are not for fashion at all. Literally just, just for comfort. I just love this color. Like I would paint that wall this color if I could. I have one more pair of pants that I have zero hopes for. I, I, I shouldn't have bought light colored pants. They don't do anything for me. Except for these ones. These ones actually might do something for me. These are by Babaton. That's Aritzia. Okay. Some of my favorite pants that I've ever owned are by Babaton. I, the ones that I purchased early on in my pregnancy were by Babaton. Actually, this might be my exact Babaton pant just in a different color. It's actually like such, such a look. Maybe not, maybe not with this top. Like, I don't know. Cause these are kind of a little more cool tone. Maybe. I wish these were a little more warm tone. I feel like because they're a little more cool tone, that's why I'm like, mm. I'm realizing I'm liking warm tones over cool tones, which is against everything I stand for, like up to this point in my life. I thought I was a cool tone person. Turns out I'm not <laughs> much more of a warm tone person, but the pants are cute. I like that's just elastic in the back, smooth through the front. Again, cropped. <laughs> Actually, I do like these and I'll keep them. <laughs> they are, they are nice. I do like them. And if you're curious where my green corduroy jacket was from, let me go grab it. That was also, I also thrifted that, but that was like in one of my previous vlogs. I'll link that down below, hold on. This I got from MCC, again, just kind of that, actually, this is more like maybe 90s, like a corduroy jacket, but not with this outfit. But it's, it's cute, like that oversized, just kind of corduroy. I like it. I like it more than a jean jacket for sure. The corduroy look. My niece also has a corduroy jacket, so, and it's green. And I kind of just wanted to dress like her for a bit. <laughs> Cute, right? Like, don't sleep on the thrift store. Don't sleep on the thrift store. It's not for sleeping on. It's for walking into and buying sweet clothes. It's sustainable. It's a great way that you can support so many people around the world, depending on your thrift store and what they support. But like, MCC is so great. They can take all my money and I'm like, go ahead. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed it and let me know, are you gonna be thrifting some fall items soon? Have you already? Have you found something amazing? Oh man, if you have, let us know. Inspire us to go thrifting. Um, but thank you seriously so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.